Is this thing on? Is this on? You know what? You can remove my channel entirely. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Yeah, just cut. Um, it's not it's happening. Hey, okay. We had a special I meeting to, to make sure that we optimize our time. We have a new over at sea. Yeah. No, just get that thing away from me. <laughs> well, okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mode. so what I'm going to say is actually that's not true, Skin. <laughs> what? Nice. That's, that's not accurate. <laughs> well. That'll be what I do. Yes. Yeah. That'll be my job. Well, you you do get to you get to have an opportunity to review the material before it's released oh, to our fuck. legions. Oh. So that if hey. your public image is yeah. distorted by truth, yeah. you can trust us. You <laughs> carelessly yeah, he, uttered he in won't, here. He won't listen uh, to it know. for a year and a half. The though. Tr- yeah, exactly. I'm on, I'm on episode 64. <laughs> Actually, that's what we should do. When we publish this one, we should say it was recorded like a year and a half or two years ago. <laughs> In the future. It's a beautiful June day, 2021, and we're happy. <laughs> well, welcome to the shed, everybody. We've got an excellent, super special guest, Rob the T of Saskatoon is here with us, and we're going to have a lot of fun. The buddy, the dog's on fire again, but he seems like he might be turning the corner with uh, behavior, so settle down and get ready. We're going to have some laughs. In the last episode, I believe two episodes back or so, you mentioned that Jenna had dropped her phone in Sassamat Lake. Yep. Second time she has done that. Yeah. Yes. So uh, just to recap for you two guys who are, you know, at the back <laughs> of the class whispering. Yeah. Um, Jenna dropped her phone in Sassamat Lake 30 feet down. Wow. That's iPhone where we pick 14. up the story. But it's still good. $1,600. iPhone 14. Ultra Pro. Pro Ultra, whatever. The big screen and the many lenses. And it slipped out of her pocket because she does canoe instruction. And she was helping somebody get in a canoe and bloop. Oh. The end, 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 end. No, where's my, where's my phone? Use where's my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down it went. So we'll, we'll edit in the uh, Titanic. Yeah, music there when you she go. throws her. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you work. should use. Um, <laughs> Down, 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 down I to the bottom, that. bottom, bottom, bottom. I don't oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. From the point. Mm-hmm, the point. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ooh, that'd be tricky to get. I got the album, but I don't have it electronic. We'll get the rights. We'll write them for the rights first. Yep. But, yeah. yeah, so she she dropped it in the lake. So doom and gloom, right? Because the phone was purchased on the family plan. Uh-oh. And the subtle inference you were to make there is that the money didn't come out of her pocket for it and yet there it goes and so you know it was some dark days there <laughs> and uh so i thought you know what maybe we should go magnet fishing for it so yeah. i bought a magnet and a 60 foot rope to go with it and some gloves you know because she couldn't give me a clear idea of the depth you she actually was, bought a magnet for yeah, it. i did yeah mm-hmm. she's got it right now but yeah and i i was sort of thinking well look if it's like 12 feet I'm going to go to Walmart and buy some flippers and a cheap mask because I could go down 12 feet or 15 maybe even. 20 is probably at my age. That's not that good a plan. Yeah. So I bought the Magnum. So I gave it to her and in between us arranging a time for me to show up at Lake Sassamat when she's there and sort of getting permission to do it from, because, you know, there's legal issues if I fall off that dock and drown probably. Some guy named Clayton Helkenberg uh, of Chilliwack Clayton. got a hold of her and said, I found your phone at the bottom of the lake. And it was like three weeks later, 30 feet, and he knew it was hers because when he plugged it in, it booted up. It came up. And he just looked at the Emerjo information and got a hold of her and returned it to her. She gave him a little card, and uh, he published a little video of their, their heartwarming exchange, and she's uh. got her thing back and one of the things that i failed to mention in this is she discovered somewhere along the way that when she got that snazzy new phone she also got apple care so it's like the little thing that says okay if you drop in the toilet we'll give you a new one right and if so she was and when i found that's when i got the magnet geez if we find it you'll give it well let's find it then yeah and so now he gets the phone back so she and 
when she first got it, she said, oh, the speakers sound funny. So there's probably water in them. Maybe give it a little while. And she's told me recently that they're getting better. That's I, exactly it. Yeah, the water yeah. sits on the outside of the speakers and just has to evaporate. Yeah. yeah. I told her she should bring it back anyways because she can. But I think if she brings it back and there's nothing evidently wrong with it, I don't think they'll give her a new one. Yeah. yeah. That's quite the nice little uh, video too. So Isn't we'll, it? Yeah, we'll put that in on the uh, page or in the show notes somewhere. I thought Jen it. just behaved beautifully again. Yeah, that was like, great. She uh, she asked about money and I have to confess, I suggested it wasn't that good an idea to begin involving money in the conversation because the guy does it for clicks, right? Oh, yeah. Kicks and clicks, TikToks, all that sort of stuff. Well, I had oh, a, neat. I had so. a diver find my wallet. I think I actually related that story in, in this room. Did you? Yeah, well, you know, I've, I've only lost my wallet once in my entire life, and it was at Christina. When Sue and I were on a road trip, I just decided to do a little swim. I wasn't sure. I just assumed I'd left it on shore. Maybe somebody stole it. Maybe I went, I just didn't know. But So that would have been maybe 1981, and it'd be about 10 years ago now, I got a phone call from a woman and she said, I'm a little kind of nervous doing this, but I just wanted, did you lose a wallet at Christina Lake a long time ago? And wow. so, yeah, the answer was yes. And her son was a hobbyist diver. So he'd go looking for interesting trinkets on the bottoms of lakes. And so we had this conversation and she said, would it be okay if, if he kept the wallet? Cause he has a little display case. And I said, sure, absolutely. But they sent me my old BCIT card back. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. It was just the coolest little phone call yeah. that I'd ever had. Like, oh, okay, that solves that mystery. Yeah. Well, and like for her, it was just, just manna from heaven. And she, she sent me a picture. It was the same for me. She sends me a picture and it's her phone lit up. You just kind of think, whoa. That guy, when you go to his site though, he's found him down there six months and still boot up. Six oh really months. really yeah, yeah in cultus lake he's fine he's, yeah. he's out of chilliwack so he spends a lot of time his main shtick is garbage removal mm -hmm. but also whatever valuables and he he gets a bang out of returning them to their owners yeah. I, I i don't know if he banks on income from that but so uh, i'm now a subscriber to his channel oh neat <laughs> you, and you're giving them oh three cents per episode yes that's correct exactly that's, that's right yeah. So in the room with us here, we have yeah. Captain Bob of Saskatoon and a uh, regular correspondent. A hey. regular listener. Good to have you. Good to have you with us here, uh, Captain Bob. Great to be here, Rich. Yeah. All the way in from Saskatoon. Your arm's pretty <laughs> tired. <laughs> oh, that's an old joke. It's crusty <laughs> yet benign. <laughs> anyway, we just take that little intro, we move it back to the beginning and work it in with whatever. We're going to make you just sound fantastic. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry you, about If nothing. you can do anything to make me sound smarter than I really yeah, am. And you really are. That would be yeah, the best. Yeah. Um, if yeah. it's possible. It's possible. It's very yeah. possible. We'll, we'll lower the tone of your voice a little, you know, so it sounds like. So this is the first time you've been like in BC since when? Walter Cronkite. Geez, since mom and dad's memorial. So that's 2013. Was that 14? 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm dying to know. I've only ever been to Saskabush, Saskatoon once, yeah. So, you've been there for donkey's years, yes. What's the very best thing? One very best thing about Saskatoon? What's the best thing? Well, it's full of trees, yeah, it's really nicely landscaped. They call Saskatoon the city of bridges, eh? We have six bridges. We flew before we went to Europe. We flew over Montreal. That's the city of bridges, you know, <laughs> not Saskatoon. Holy crap. Well, it's bridges per capita, I think, is what they're referring to there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's just pathetic, and I think we but should it's, it's resend beautiful, the name. beautiful, though. Like, Saskatoon has one river park that goes forever. Oh, yeah, it's Miwasan, the Miwasan Valley. And it's maintained, and there's miles and miles and miles of uh, kilometers, you might say. Yeah. You, know, you young people and your metric. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I didn't know that. I, I would have never guessed. That's a great answer. I yeah. would have never guessed. That's asked because I was there in the winter, right? I got to say, Buddy's well behaved today. Yeah, un unusually. Uh, but Richard uh, came um, with the family one time, and I sent him down uh, Spadina. 
and uh, it's all embowered and yeah, and, yeah. Well, it's an arbor, and it's just a beautiful cruise. And they took it, and they seem to like it. You we don't remember the, it anymore, but well, I don't know. I just know that it's fantastic. And me and Sydney went for a photo- photography walk there. We walked yeah. up and down the river and took photos. Yep. Yeah. And there's all kinds of conservation areas and stuff, and. Awesome. And then uh, Rob and April uh, took me to a little music festival there. Yeah. And uh, what's the name of that hotel? The Bestboro? Uh, yeah, Bestboro. Yeah. And it's just sitting there right on the river, outdoor yep. concert. And yeah. uh, the, if you, uh, it'll come back to me who it was, Tadeshi Trucks Band. Yes, yes. And it was just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. awesome. We're sitting in these fold-up chairs on the lawn with yeah. this pretty big, big deal band. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, all I could do is look around and see all the nice people walking around, and it made me yeah. think of all the characters from Corner Gas. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this is Saskatchewan people. Uh, yeah, exactly. No I'm, still, I'm still yeah. trying to get over embowered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, you yeah. listeners, yeah. that's not a word you hear every day. We get some high-end guests in right. here, I'm telling right. you. I learned I mean, that from your dad. No way. Yeah, Jake. Why would he? You, why he was... Would, he was the best Scrabble player I ever saw, oh, okay. and uh, he explained, you know, how words do. Oh, okay. Become. Rob was using the word stanch on the way over here, and yep. I thought, that's another word that you only hear ever in one context. Yep. Crosswords. Stanch the flow of blood. You have to, you oh, can, I yeah, always yeah. pronounce that staunch. Well, it well, may, may well be, yeah, but, but you, it, you yeah, can't get staunch anything A-N-C-H, else. A-N-C-H, and there's... Is it? I think... But, ah, jeez, you know, I'm not. probably wrong. So edit out this whole no, part. No, just being yes. a little bit modest. Yep. I'm going to go with Rob on this pronunciation. Uh, yeah, no. Or I, it might be American versus Canadian. It might Canadian. be the that American. Be, uh, you know, Rob's a pretty heavy American Say if you hit person. your head on a buoy or something like that, you get a stanch, <laughs> exactly. the flow of blood. <laughs> Canadians say bowie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Bory. <laughs> no, he's 100% right. It comes up stanch, yep. uh, stop or restrict flow of blood. Yeah. Just and, A-N-C-H? Yeah. Yeah. And staunch and stanch are both variant spellings of the same word, yes. but each is more common in different scenarios. Uh, staunch is seen more often as an adjective remaining, meaning substantial or steadfastly loyal, while stanch is more often yeah. a verb as in to... Staunch, staunch supporter. Yeah. A staunch Trump supporter. Yeah. yeah that's but aren't those two so, different words altogether? Yeah. Come but on, what's going on same here? Root. Variant spellings of the same word. Yep. word. That's so frustrating. So I'm, I'm never going to staunch the flow of blood, no matter what. And I'll never be a stanch Trump supporter. <laughs> so, yeah. But you might do the opposites of both of those. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you. Yeah. I the guessed. flow of Trump's blood. So I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to stanch the flow of that either. No. I didn't have any uh, snappers this week, but I do have two entries that I thought they're word entries. And the first one is uncurious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard uncurious? Yes. Have you heard incurious? Yeah. Huh? I have okay. heard. Okay, I'm yeah. not sure which of those two I've heard. Uh-huh. Incurious, I think I've heard. I don't yeah. think I've heard either of them. I haven't, I haven't heard them either. I thought, what's going on? But I love those words because you instantly know what they mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, except so, for is there a difference between on and in? No. Uh, no. Uh, not according to Webster's or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But so uh, w- reading these sides, so doing an audition, and it said this detective is uncurious, and I thought, what is that? And why... Why is somebody using it? I've never heard the word before. Yeah. And then, because there's a writer's strike and these are Canadian productions, yep. we think it's AI is doing some of the yeah. writing. Oh, oh. Seriously, like you see some of the lines, you go, this doesn't even, like the Hallmark stuff is bad to start with. Yes. But yeah. <laughs> these days, it's just turning. But you can something. see Hallmark using Chat GPT. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know, some producer yeah. who th- we're, we don't have a writer. What can we do? Yeah, exactly. I'm and, just seeing the little stream of your royalties diminish to a trickle here. Oh, I don't. You're uh, slagging Hallmark right in front of the world here. No, I don't even. do them no. anymore. Okay, so apparently not yeah you're not going forward and my next (laughs) entry into my almost oh i want to because i think you guys might be right about chat gpt or something like it doing it because normally you would say he's not inquisitive you you wouldn't say somebody he's not curious curious. yeah he's not curious he does because with a detective you gotta 
be asking questions all the time. Yeah. It's got to be part of your nature, right? Yeah, so I think you'd be a if bad you use detective. that word, although uh, normally it's incurious. If you use it, I think it's a, an expression of surprise that that's not typical for this person or yeah. this profession mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he was I remarkably guess. incurious. I guess. Uh, I, I just done it. And if incurious is a word, incuriouser is a word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, and then we can segue into irregardless. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other one is I, I, I didn't know what the term meant, and I'm sure you guys do. It's a walk-off in baseball. I, I didn't. Geez, funny you mention that because I've been listening to a lot of baseball on the radio because hockey's over and I have yep. to drive back and forth to dance all the time. And I don't know what that is. A walk-off single. What does that even mean? I I, ah, I don't know. See? So, Cap and Rob, you're the expert on these types of things. Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue. A I, okay, here's my guess. Okay. You knock a single hard and it takes it, it bounces right out of play. You know, it's got to be on the left side of first base if you hit that way and it's spinning and it just goes boom yeah so the walk-off comes from you're only going to get one base no matter what whatever or but the the um the automatic double but a walk-off i don't know what the the automatic double it's all these kids okay jerry knows it okay they're they're inventing words and you know the these words are wrong and bob i'm a little disappointed i don't think you got that right at all no i don't think you're a fount of wisdom about all things baseball but if it's a walk-off single this uh but they have walk-off doubles same thing you hit the score yes you do because they had one canadians the other night yeah but that's uh what you call it uh it's uh, it bounces out of play. Well, bounced off. The that's, score a yes. so that's a ground rule. Yes. that's a ground rules double yes. you're talking that's about. A, right? That's ground rules yeah, double. That's right. Yeah. And on the yeah. radio, they called that a. I believe they call. It, geez, now I'm. Maybe that's the new name. Isn't that a single ground rule double? Isn't it? I don't think it's plural. All right. Should we Google it, boys? <laughs> grounds okay. rule. You mean well, grounds you know, rule? <laughs> grounds, it's a grounds rule. <laughs> See, that makes more sense. Well, ground you, like, ground yeah, rules. you're probably right. Because like when your kids are three years old, where do you put them? Do you put them in the balls room? No, you put them in the ballroom. There's a lot of balls in there. I think you're right. There's a lot of rules, but this would be a ground rule double. Yes. Yep. Just like Italian days. Are we yep. going to Google this? Because I'm pretty curious. Moby, Moby knows. knows. I know walk off. Yeah. Oh, oh, What's walk off? Tell me in again. Walk off is when the opposing team has lost, and they walk off the field because of a walk off homer, walk off oh, single. Okay, that's okay. There it's you go. It's always in the last it's, inning. It's the it, end of the trick. It's so, the end of it. So a walk off single would be in the case when the bases are loaded. No, yeah. no, no. It can just be one run. Yeah. Oh, oh no, somebody on third. Yeah, yeah somebody has to score. Yeah, so that's be it. loaded bases. Done, but that's it, the only way someone scores on us. Yeah, it has to be tie game, and somebody no, has no, to score. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah, it could. Yeah. Has a score. But, but it could yeah. be a single, yeah. and the the runner could be scoring from yeah. all the way from first. Yeah. Who knows, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you call um, when you if the bases are loaded and you walk the batter? What do you call that? Just a walk in run? Yeah, there's terms like unforced runs, or what unearned runs and earned runs. Uh, maybe that has something to do with that. Oh, if you're the pitcher no, you're and you walk in a run, is that an earned here, run? Skinny. Yeah. Earned runs over. Well, that stuff, yeah. ERA, earned run average, is a big, big stat for pitchers, but I've never been too clear what. Well, it's got to be low. So, a walk, if you walk somebody in, it's an earned run. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So then it seems like that would be the. I've always found it weird that batting averages don't include walks. Yes. Because, you know, if you're yep. skilled at getting walked, then yep. that's a skill that's it's just as important as hitting a A single, really right? small person, say. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was tried. That yeah, was I tried. I know it was tried. Yeah. It was tried in the 20, uh, yeah. 18, 19, They got 18. some little people in there, yeah. and they had to change the rule to define the strike zone yes. to be a it was really hard. minimum size. Yep. Yep. Gentlemen, I haven't offered coffee or zero Corona or... You know why you haven't? San Pellegrino or It's because cookies. we're just crackling with energy oh. I know I know I'm trying to diffuse it a little bit so. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> before, gotta slow it down Mo. before we just yeah, burst into flames Rob well, you can grab those cookies yeah, right over there cookies. you want, do you, need, you want a coffee Rob or a uh, yeah coffee yeah. would be super good what are you taking your coffee cream in your coffee not recently <laughs> <laughs> that and, uh, takes me way back there way back yeah. well, how, about <laughs> milk, how about milk Not, and sugar okay sure okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, i actually had a, a weight person ask me that actually asked me that <laughs> actually used it 
Yeah. Uh, that's great. I haven't heard that in just donkey's years. That's skinny. Funny. No, I better pass. I I'll am take, just crackling with energy. No of course, thanks, man, for me. The okay. instant I I'll pass, I'll take a black coffee, man. Really? Yeah. Holy no diner. cream, though, Rob? Don't Nothing. You like a little bit of honey in your coffee? Going with black. Just Have bring it in black giant coffee for all. So you can just mainline it. Buddy, it's okay. You're going to live. I know. Uh, is Buddy okay. over his uh, eat, uh, biting thing? Because he... He hasn't. He bit me a few did he bite you a few times? Yeah, but he. It was in love. <laughs> but yeah, I know. But I you mean, know? when he bites you for two hours straight, it does get a little bit old after a while. Well, your hand. That's those are. Bites, oh wow! Right? Oh, but they're just kind of soft bites. Oh, they're just little baby bites. Yeah, he's getting Holy a little crap. He man. is growing How'd up just a little bit. The flow of that blood. There? <laughs> yeah, like Boy. he. Nice. He Holy buried crap. his snout, but he didn't bite me at all. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. Well, you bet me. Yeah, but yeah, you know, but he, you're the newest sucker in the it's, room. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, for I the longest you. time, Rob, I would actually literally just have to keep my feet up, and he what? would do it for five minutes straight. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I often sit like this. Yeah. Because he Old won't make the first. leap. Yeah. Yeah. He won't make the leap. Yeah. Uh, listeners, that's cross legged. Yeah. You can't see it, but nice. Cross legged posture here in the shed. Good plan with uh, the bud nader on the loose. Yeah. Lord Budula. He's a very good dog. He is a good dog, yeah. actually. When's yeah. the last marshmallow you had, Rob? Oh, man. When, when I was young, I used to barf on him. You, you did that. You had a, a major episode. I think that was the last time yeah. you probably ate him. That's going in. Pretty close. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's car sickness, eh? So, wow. But, uh, She's you running. know, I formed certain associations when I was a kid. My memory was that you, uh, we were at a picnic and you basically ate an entire bag of marshmallows. Potentially. And then, and then, uh, that was the last time you ever ate marshmallows. Yeah. And I barfed them. Yeah. See how close this is, Rob? It's better that way. Yeah. It's way better. Cause then <sighs> me and skinny got to do all the work on the editing and we get so frustrated. Oh, with I imagine. Um, at work I whisper. In the radio, a eh? microphone. <laughs> Why? Send them in. You know, like, because I'm a loader, eh? and they say, uh, we got a caustic truck. Send them in. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, security invariably whispers back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're you kidding? Hoping, you're hoping they won't hear. Oh, my oh, goodness. You, we hear a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's really funny. Oh, it's hilarious at work. And you work primarily with uh, rail? Uh, rail and trucks. Yeah. Yep. So you're loading. Is that mm -hmm. main focus? Yep. I load uh, liquid chlorine into cars. Eh? Mm. Every car has enough chlorine in it to kill everybody in Canada. Well, that's great to know. I know. What a happy thought that must be yeah. for you at work. You only need 0.1 gram to die from chlorine, 0.1 gram. So really the only thing that's saving us all is lack of good distribution. That's it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Lack of uh, derailments in your area. Oh, well, it, oh it, yeah. It ship so, me my tenth of an yeah. ounce when it does derail and I'll but dutifully if, if take a, it. If a chlorine car actually exploded, derailed, and actually burst, yeah. that could wipe out a whole town right oh easy yeah. yeah wow but you know they're they're really robust eh? these uh these they cars be. they're better than those submarines da yes <laughs> better than submarines and and the rail cars that went Too to lock soon, Gigante there, <laughs> which was a really awful thing speaking of too soon I'm finding a lot of commentary online that's just full of schadenfreude yeah for mm -hmm. the like for the billionaires that died down there. I yeah. find that fascinating. Yeah. Oh, me too. And old James Cameron had a lot to say too, didn't sure he? Sure did. It was he an hasn't accident had, waiting to happen. He hasn't had so much press in decades, James yeah. Cameron. You know what yeah. he said? He said that this is the first time in these types of submersibles, the kind where you go down super deep, yeah. that anybody's died. Really? Yeah, he said it's been longer than the time span between Kitty Hawk and the first 747 since somebody died in a deep sea uh, submersible. They were yeah. goofing around with the design parameters, though, here. Um, they sure were. Yeah. He oh, was yeah. Uh, He was doing stuff that isn't normally accepted. Yeah. yeah. And it's the first one ever that has not been certified by a third party. Mm -hmm. So it's all pretty. Maybe this is a lot of people scrambling to say stuff like this yeah. because there's a whole industry around it, right? Oh, I'm sure. So wanna, yeah, yeah. 
But I mean, it's an aberration. It took me yeah. quite a while for it to sink in. Like, I guess there's no hatch on the thing. Like, there's an entry lid. Yeah. And it gets bolted on when you're in there. Yeah. Well. So even if they <laughs> made it back to the surface, if they didn't find them on the surface, they still would have run out of oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like, I... And then I saw some guy, some woman wrote to her engineer dad, and her engineer dad wrote back, and she published it. And it was he just went through this list of stuff, you know, no external flotation, no way to get out if you managed wow. to make it to the surface. Their sensors, they had sensors on the hull to let you know that it was about to fail. And you yeah. sort of think, what the hell is the point of that? If I'm like 12,000 feet into the ocean... Uh, that just means I get some notice, you know. Yeah. Oh, bummer! Then you, yeah, exactly. Like, what is the? And it, yeah. he just went on and on. So yeah, they. But apparently, that was never a thing. Like that wasn't the risk. There, there's actually multiple ways to communicate down there. One of which is SMS, like text messages. But I don't mm-hmm. know exactly what the transmission, yeah, is like whether it's through sound waves through the water. Mm-hmm. But um, apparently, if you lose communication, they're dead. Like all this, the four days that we all went through wondering, will they make it or not? Yeah. People there was no were, communication. Yeah. People who were close yeah. to it, would, even the company would have known. Yeah. But the last thing you want to do is de- declare it all over within an hour. You want people to yeah. retain hope because what if you're like in the one in a thousand chance that you're actually wrong and they yeah. turn out to be alive? Exactly. Right? I guess the Navy detected a sound that matched all of their criteria for implosion. Mm-hmm. Was pressure. that what that clang was? I thought they never figured out. No, the they didn't was. figure the clang out. But on the Sunday oh. afternoon, oh yeah, just after they lost or just when they lost communication, they heard a sound that matched all their criteria for, for an <clears throat> pressure sound. vessel implosion. Yeah, and they immediately told the Coast Guard guy in charge, "Hey, this thing happened, and it matches our list of things that define wow. an implosion wow. sound." Yeah. And they still went through four days of everybody and their dog turning themselves inside out trying yeah. to get down there. Right? Yeah. Mm. Well, you guys read this stuff in detail, didn't you? I usually just read headlines and ignore, yeah. ignore, yeah. ignore, ignore. That's your best bet in general, right? Because the news is so full of spurious BS. Yes. Any? This Tell one, us. This one I just found myself reading right to the end of every article. Tell That's us the, the North Van connection because North Van apparently is in a huff over this incident. Because there's so many submersibles being built in North Man, and they're all worried. Well, I don't know. There was that guy who did the Nautilus suit. It's a real high-pressure, deep-dive suit for a person. It looks like the Goodyear blimp guy. Yeah. And he pioneered all this stuff with how to make the arms movable. In other words, make joints that could withstand that kind of pressure. Yeah. So I don't know why anybody's in a huff, because I'm very sure that guy went through every imaginable hoop trying to get those suits certified. Newt suits or whatever he calls them. But how many companies in North Van would there be making submersibles? Are there are there lots? Well, I don't know. All of North Van was in a tizzy over this because... I don't know what you're talking about. So I wasn't jobs. in a tizzy there over this. There goes our primary industry. That's right. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not movies. It's uh, No, their primary Didn't... industry in North Vancouver is lawn care. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Mavis work for... A submersible company i don't know i i did not hear a big hue and cry i did hear a big hue and cry about protesters hanging off the mountain highway overpass cordon junction rcmp reluctant to enforce and sure enough last thursday driving across there people hanging off the thing the protesting what Oh, these days are focused on the LGBTQ plus community in terms oh, of... 2S. Yeah, thank you. Do not yeah, groom children. Welcome. Do not allow certain books in the class. All Holy that. crap, man. They're you basically don't... just taking a, every page that the most right-wing elements in the United States are squawking mm. about and go running with it, basically. Hey, I work with those guys. I sure hope they don't listen to this podcast. That must be tiresome. They're really, really nice people with just deranged views yeah 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 uh, here's the the headline kj may be referring to here is titan submersible tragedy sends shock waves through north vancouver mm. that's the one that's there you the go. one i yeah. read huh yeah. yeah i called it didn't i didn't i rob yeah you uh, sure did. but there was one extra word on the end through north vancouver business so it's one business 
about shockwaves? Hey, over yeah. 12 submersible manufacturers <laughs> in shock. <laughs> Maybe going out of business. Bearing on bankers. Oh, man. Uh-oh. No, those guys should be all happy because, like I said, I'm pretty sure that one guy that I'm aware of that does those suits, I would bet any amount of money that that guy has faithfully had certifications just mm-hmm. up his nose on that thing because that's how he sells it to government agencies. Who's mm-hmm. buying them? Yeah. Oil companies and government agencies. Yeah. That's it, right? Mm-hmm. So you get it certified. And if there's going to be some Wild West guy out there making them in his backyard, mm-hmm. just like the rocket guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the damage control has worked pretty well. Yeah. Because anybody who reads those articles, you're going, okay, these guys were nuts. Yeah. And it was, yeah. there's there's a whole Wikipedia article on people who died from their own inventions. Oh, yeah. Because this CEO was largely the designer and he was the guy that was down there who was, who yeah. was driving running it. Yeah. He was the sole crew member. Mm-hmm. They call all their paying passengers crew. Yeah. yeah. Probably to get around some kind of, you know, mm-hmm. com- consumer Regulation. protection stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, did you read the one? <laughs> There's some guy, some guy's talking about uh, he was going to take a trip and he wasn't able to go. No, his wife really wanted to go. So they were both going dream trip. She got COVID, couldn't go. He did. And he was describing the waiver he had to sign. Mm-hmm. And on the first page, it mentioned death about seven times, mm-hmm. seven different ways you could die that you're agreeing to not, you know, you're agreeing to indem- indemnify them. Mm-hmm. Like, Hint, what does it mean when the thing you're signing has like a multiple bunch of stuff? References to death several Mm -hmm. times. But one thing that was interesting to me, though, was finding out what does happen to you. So, I don't know about you guys, but the worst part of the thing for me was thinking about people slowly suffocating and having hypothermia and slowly Mm -hmm. expiring in the total blackness at the bottom of the sea. Um, if your pressure vessel implodes at those kind of depths, 9,000, 10,000 feet, it happens so fast that your nervous system doesn't even have a chance to send a message to your brain that something happened. You're just there one minute and not. So when I was a kid, my dad told me carbon ants were bad, right? So you're walking down the sidewalk and you see an ant and you jump up in the air and land on it as hard as you can. And then you think... That was as fast as I could make it. That ant probably doesn't even know it's dead yet. Yeah. You know? Well, it's the same with those. Mm-hmm. Just, I read a big long thing, a uh, report on the Thresher, the loss of the USS Thresher mm-hmm. submarine in 63 and first nuclear powered submarine. And mm-hmm. it had a problem, lost control. It's rated dive depth of something like 1300 feet and, I think it imploded at about 8,000 feet and just instantaneous. Mm -hmm. There is no human remain left. It's just liquefied, gone. Yeah. And it happens in a millisecond. I was Mm -hmm. watching videos of implosions of rail cars. I can't remember what caused it. Some kind of chemical that instantly. Well, you get a vacuum break on tank cars, eh? Yeah. And if there isn't one, their strength is outwards. Outwards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was just like. It's yep. done, right? Right now. And the pressure down there, if you look, if you imagine a square inch on your hand, for example, now think of 4,000 pounds sitting on that square Unbelievable. inch. Unbelievable. Right? Yeah. Unbelievable. Just instantly crushed. Yep. So yep. just go. So yeah, it's a good way to go. Though mm-hmm. The way not to go would be the way when you actually made it up to the top and you're bolted in. Yeah. And it's getting colder and colder because I guess you're out of energy. Even mm-hmm. down there, it's super cold, right? And then, Unreal. All, and then as the oxygen goes away and you, you, you know, there's no sense in killing somebody else and eating them. Cause you nope. know, that doesn't help the oxygen. That's so quick. You don't see the light. That'd be a good way to go actually. Yep. But that kid was scared to go down. Right. Oh, he was. And yeah. his billionaire yeah. father yeah. going, nah, come on. Yeah. Come on, boy. Make a man out of you. Yeah. So oh, no kid. <laughs> they said that they released some of the counterweights too, right? They had some awareness Something was wrong. Yeah, yes. they had some awareness at something. They were trying to surface yes. when it went. Yeah. So they're it's they're releasing ballast or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then yeah. kaboof. So they probably no. did have to endure a uh, brief little period bit of, of time of going, of oh, we're all. Yeah, yeah, and apparently that's not uncommon. All these stories of like two subs down there diving on the Titanic, they actually land on the deck. And the one sub gets its kind of 
It's little skid. It's little skid stuck under some wires. Yeah. But that's why they tend to dive in pairs. Yeah. The other sub came up, had v- visual, and they said, okay, here's what you need to do. Here's where you need to apply the force to yeah. kind of back out of the, what you're into. Yep. But um, note to self. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Draw nope. the line at skydiving. Yep. I'm, I'm afraid to fly now. Because <laughs> you yep. might. Or take a car trip. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It's a long walk back to Saskatoon. <laughs> so who, know, who has some experience yeah. with slide whistles? Moby, you ever done one of these ones? Mope can play anything. Sure, yeah. I would pay money to see you play the piano and the slide whistle at the same time. Do you know your way around a slide whistle, Rob? Well, no, not like you do. No, I've right, never. So. Banana peels and somebody goes slip. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, buddy's going to like this. See, I can't yeah, even envision will. what it sounds like right now, but uh, oh, we're going to find out. I remember. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, Is that yeah. it? Yep. As a former trombone player, I can tell you it's going to be a bit of a letdown. <laughs> whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Did you ever yeah. used to do that with your trombone? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Tried to. As a, and, yeah, yeah. As a former licorice stick uh, player, <laughs> I right? look Were forward you? to this. What did you play, Rob? The licorice stick. Oh, you play the... Clarinet. clarinet and the bass clarinet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But I did that wrong, right? You got to do it the other way. Is that correct? Just depends. <laughs> there are some oh, situations that call for the ascending. He likes that sound. Oh, you can pull out your camera. Let's do a video of Buddy while I do this. Okay, hang on. You notice I just didn't even fight back there, RJ? Just take no, note. No, no. Yeah. I just yeah. decided to yeah. immediately. Okay. <laughs> What is that? Uh, and he tilts his head to get a little bit better triangulation yes, on it. Yes. <laughs> he raised his ears. That was the whole video. But he stops everything. Like all of his panting and biting, yeah. everything just stops. Yes. You probably didn't notice, but the same yeah, thing happened so to me. Cool. He did the <laughs> so. He did the head tilt. Well, Listeners, that's just for our sound effects. This is asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> just leaking just out of the top it. there just check it the white no i got the, all the white these, powder uh, stuff as best as yeah well, they, they're little oh, fibers right oh it's yeah. nice in the yeah it is isn't it's it? beautiful it's, yeah you can actually see the ambiance there you go. or as haley says the ambiance yeah that always makes me laugh sue and i went to the legislature we always try and go to the Capitol building of U.S. states yeah. and the legislature building of Canadian provinces if yes. we can. So we, this yeah. is like the eighth or eighth or ninth one we've been to. First wow. time ever we've been to the B.C. legislature. Wow. And we go there. It's actually in session. Wow. I couldn't believe it. So it was fun. Like we went in there and the first thing was the really nice part of it. Yeah. It feels so Canadian, you know, like yeah. each of the members would stand up and talk about some club in their hometown yes. that would yes. like, oh, yeah. we'd yeah. like to thank so-and-so who's put in so much good service to our little community. Yes. And the other party, you know, was like, oh, that's yeah. really good. They clap. Yeah. And Somebody yeah. turned 106 years old. And yeah. All that yeah. Kind of stuff. yeah. So yeah. that was all good. Yeah. And then they got right into debates about and I'm trying to, oh yeah, I remember the opposition started haranguing about the crime rates, you know, Mm -hmm. and violent crimes. And, and so it was really quite remarkable, you know, they were Mm -hmm. hammering and our justice guy stood up and said, and he spoke really well. And then they'd harangue him again, will the honorable, whatever. And Mm -hmm. so that all was quite fascinating to watch. And of course, Mm -hmm. if you've been following BC news at all, and you probably haven't, like we, Mm -hmm. we hardly do. Um, there's been a lot of stuff about changes in the law, you know, new legislation to kind of force judges to put more people in jail, repeat offenders, right? Okay. Over and over and violent crime. Oh, people so these are still out on bail, still not going to well, jail. Right? So you're saying that, uh, somebody is tabling legislation that's not being passed. Is that right? That's right. So the BC NDP, who you would think of as left wing and, you know, can we just all get along and these people have just had bad upbringings you yes. know and they, yeah. yeah they killed three people and raped another two but you know yeah. we need to you know so the ndp realized that that's not a good way to be no. right but it was just great that we had the chance to they took our phones away they took everything oh, away yeah, they told bet. us not don't applaud you know Absolutely. there was all kind of rules don't wave you know yeah but uh, it was great yeah, it's it really was good. Wild. i highly recommend it and the funny thing was 
whenever I would try and draw people into conversations, you know, like that worked there. Yeah. They were quite happy to. <laughs> you, you, they, they weren't they weren't on instruction to never talk politics yeah clearly not they see were, me underbelly yeah yep. they, they'd kind of you know you they wouldn't come right out and say well i'm a staunch ndp supporter nothing like yeah. that yeah stanch. but you could <laughs> oh yeah it's a stanch yeah i'm a stanch ndp supporter <laughs> but you could kind of tell and it was just kind of fun could you yeah. could you go ask one of those guys how long have you been working here 12 years yeah. Who is the one legislator you disliked most out of all the people that have paraded through here in that time? Would they answer to they you? They might. Christy. Oh, they might. Awesome. Yeah, Christy Clark. Well, because it would yeah. be something you and I would never see, eh? It would, it would have to do with how they behaved as they transited the chambers, as they yeah. arranged things, oh, as yeah. they requested things that didn't arrive promptly or warmly Somebody enough. gives them a rump pat every day. <laughs> yeah, just, you know? <laughs> whatever, yeah. Oh. That would be really a fun question to ask a few yeah, of those guys. Yeah. Just who did you, on a personal level, I'm not talking about policy or any of that, just who was the biggest idiot of all these guys? Yeah. I'd love to hear what they'd say. And then you get to, uh, we didn't make a reservation, so we couldn't do it. But if you want to, and remember, uh, your, uh, North Vancouver MLA there, not yours, but friend of the show, Bo and Ma. Yeah. She had kind of highly recommended the, uh, dining room there. Remember that? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, it turns out that, yeah, you can eat there for the same price that members pay. It's highly subsidized, wow. but we didn't make a reservation. Yeah. We did go to the gift shop and they, we bought some of their, uh, famous, uh, cookies from the dining room and right. it was sold at a ridiculously low price. Nothing like these. Not so. as good as Moby's cookies. No, were they but old? they were really good. <laughs> were they old? They were fresh. Cookies? From the 1940s. And, uh, speaking of friend of the show, yeah. Bone, I just want to interject. She will be procreating culminating procreative activities in november she can have a baby wow good for her yeah way to go her or them culminating procreating yeah really so i guess procreation technically starts at one point and ends with the baby it's a is culmination that so of, of procreation sorts. is the moment yeah the insemination yeah that's not it that's conception okay i got it all wrong yeah i thought it was a package deal mm, yeah. i think you're right and i'm wrong yeah yeah but anyway, she's having a baby, which is kind of cool. I think we Sweet. should try to get her in here again. Well, yep. On the political note, uh, yesterday was by-election, don't you know? Too right, baby. Yep. In your writing? No, but oh. I, I've seen the results and I'm happy. Context, please. Uh, there was two by-elections, one for Horgan and one for Melanie Mark. Horgan's, of course, retired. Melanie Mark also retired. By-elections, two new NDP members sitting. So. Sweet. So... Do you know why Melanie Mark retired? I think she was just tired of it. Mm. Anyway, she came to our show. I've never met her before. And for some reason, I had this personal con connection to her, or so yeah. I thought. And her office is in right at first in commercial in the Super Value right there. Yeah. It was her office. It's yeah. gone now. Yeah. And so <clears throat> I'm wondering why I didn't get a little voting card in the mail. Because they would do that even for a by-election, wouldn't they? I think yeah, they would. You would think. So I go down to Britannia to vote. <laughs> the boundary is commercial. Oh, it's on the other. I'm, she's not even my right. MLA. And oh, why, no. why don't I even know that? Right. Well, but for some reason, I thought you should have been tipped by the no voting card. I bet you that's yeah. some gerrymandering. Uh, yeah, vote. exactly. Yeah. You've been gerrymandered out of the district exactly. and into a maybe that's maybe that's staunch. Why conservative <laughs> district. Maybe that's why she quit. Yeah. That's it. They've cut McNulty out of my district. I'm done. <laughs> Your vote, there's no point in even voting Let's anymore. Let's congest more. all those left-wingers all in one riding. <laughs> okay, PJ, I believe you're about to tell us a money-making yeah. idea. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, this isn't as crispy as my usual ones. Like, I can't really smell the green in this one and feel the crispy new bills. And it's kind of tacky, but... Have you guys ever seen those videos where somebody listens to a song for the first time and we get to be all charmed and amused by their... I enjoy those. Their, yes. their, their reactions Yeah, before you get it. really critical about them. I really like them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know. <laughs> don't hurt my feelings. Yeah. No, don't I hurt don't, my feeling. People, everybody really likes them. I've seen a few. I think they're great. They're fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah and you, you but then choose, I started thinking yeah. about it for a while and that always yeah. wrecks everything for me. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. And I started thinking... For everyone you know else as well. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Here I come. On. Here yep. it comes. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to just pretend I've lived under an even bigger rock than I actually have lived under for the last 50 years and that I've never heard any hit song from about 65 to about 85. Yeah. 
And then I'm getting a series of YouTube videos where I'm just astounded <gasps> the first time I hear Stairway Whoa. to Heaven. Yeah, the first time so, I hear... This is so beautiful. Oh, man. Did you hear what he did there? Yeah. Whoa. This Whoa. is... Of course, I would need to upgrade my kind of current... Yeah. I'd need to make references to more current music so I yeah. can say, so-and-so I haven't done... Oh, that kind of reminds me of what you know Blink-182 yeah. did. Or yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I could references. do reaction videos to Blink-182. Yeah, yeah. yeah so well, I've never some heard songs. any of them. Yeah. Same, yeah. same, but I mean, yeah. for the purposes of this moneymaker, I'd have to pretend that I was all up to speed with something more yeah. contemporary than those. Because yeah. I just it occurred to me, how how could you not have heard these? And some of these, they're vocal coaches, right? They're singing coaches. Yes. You sort of think. But aren't they younger? So me. Uh, yeah. But Typically they are. So me. Still, I I struggle a bit to realize that it's possible that people haven't heard some of these. I think you should do it, Skin. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see it. The oh. difficulty for me is I would rather just collect the commission for the idea because I'm not a strong actor. Okay. What's the idea? The idea is... <laughs> Astonish The idea is to hope Rapture. that someday Astonishes me Astonishes me Someday You'll actually listen when I talk The idea is <laughs> That we get somebody to act as though They have never heard any of these hit songs Then we play the song And then they act as though How old will this person be? Well, it doesn't matter You know, if they're a really great actor If we can get Dame Edna in here or something hey. I mean Maybe they can convince people that they've never heard it. We have it. an excellent actor in here. He's world famous. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's why I put the idea out here. But as, I mean, Rob is a long time listener. Long time. You, you probably know. <laughs> First time caller. That, uh, you know, these ideas is pearls before swine in here. Oh, definitely. It's just one definitely. after another and I get derided and yeah. mocked. So you got no. somebody who's uh, going to be working for us. They're going to be listening to music that they have oh. never heard before. They'll work for yep. themselves and they'll turn over a cut of their earnings from okay. their YouTube empire to gotcha. us. Okay. Yes. It's different. Okay. So I what are they going to do? I just give them the idea. Yeah. So I give them the idea. So what's the idea? I just give them the idea <laughs> and they do the rest. And I take Skinny. money for having had the idea. As in all of these that you've heard, I don't know, a couple dozen of over this time, Rich. <laughs> Skinny, why aren't you doing it? Because I'm a terrible actor. Doesn't anybody listen? So you just want somebody to act like they've never heard it before, yeah, even though they have heard it before? I don't care if they have or they haven't. Imagine. But this is an idea that nobody died. else has had before? <laughs> well, I guess the bitter suggestion <laughs> is that a whole bunch of YouTubers Slap. have had this idea and <laughs> are doing it now. <laughs> oh, I see. And they're convincing you and I and a whole bunch of other mooks that they're actually, oh, whoa, man, I can't believe that. Yeah, you can't believe it except for you have this album in your yep. basement. Yeah. Or your mom played it while you were growing up yeah, or whatever. No. You know, like, come on. I really don't buy into that. I really think most of those reaction videos are probably probably on the level. That's because mm. you're pure and wonderful, Rich. Right. Well, I mean, I don't want to sound racist or nothing, but these would be people from different cultures. So, so you often will see youngish black people, couples sometimes, listening to old classic rock they're not going to have heard any classic rock in their house growing up. They're not going to have tuned into FM radio at all, let alone the right stations on FM mm. radio to play that stuff. Yeah. So I think it's totally believable. Have they ridden elevators and been in supermarkets? Well, yeah, but that's the thing is you may well have heard the tune somewhere. You know, okay. I that's, think it's still fair. legitimate to do yeah. a reaction so, video. Skinny, are you saying that, that some of these things that you watch, you don't believe them? You think that they're fake people? That's what he's trying to say, as they all are. Uh, no, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> no. He I'm wants to, to say try to make a whole bunch of money. Yes, that's... Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Jeez, I'm You're glad there's at least one yeah. person that is... So he wants to be the cynical person yep. who actually fakes well, it. How many... <laughs> How many times are you going to have to see the same concept executed before you start to wonder? Yeah. If you Googled that and you got a thousand hits, would you really think there's a thousand different people that have never heard Stairway to Heaven and they're all reacting? Yeah. Like My favorite in this genre is Carolyn, whose parents did not like to play pop music. She's like 28, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And she did every single Beatles album, and man, that was fun. Yeah, and Actually, it just yeah. brought them alive to you yes. again because yeah, you're absolutely. hearing them through her ears, and yes. you're, and she talks about stuff like, "Oh, I actually never thought about that." Yeah, you know, whatever extraordinary or songs or whatever. Yeah. yeah, 
It was great. I actually think I have seen her, and yeah. those she are, is legit. Right? Those like, are fun. Yeah. It's yeah. just it was yeah. just the sheer volume of them that started to make me wonder about how could so many people. I don't know. Anyway, that was it. I told you it wasn't the greatest one I've ever had. The greatest one I've ever had was yes. the noisemaker. Did you read the note I sent you? Again, blank faces across. Am I the gun well, right to junk? <laughs> yeah. It's the car. Yeah, I better check my spam. Exactly. Good. I looked up at the this is not junk button and I thought, nah, I'm not clicking that. <laughs> Can you remind us, please? Oh, I know this one. Nope. It's just basically uh, some guy or some guy was writing as if it's the biggest news on earth that the sound that a vehicle makes is a big part of the whole experience for the owner. Hmm. And so manufacturers are looking at having their vehicles make sounds that enhance the owner's experience of that vehicle. Yes, I remember talking about this. I did not, I saw your video go by, but I did not listen to it. Well, that's what the video was. was some guy now saying, oh, big news. Well, whenever I had that big idea, they were already doing it. Oh. They're already doing Corvettes it. Corvettes have yeah. tuned exhausts. And you can you select several sounds. Well, this was, in the case that I found it was really doing, it was a BMW 5 Series. Yeah. That spring, they had, they gone to a carbon chassis yeah. and they'd done some other stuff that really, really insulated the cabin from noise. Yeah. And I, I don't know where they found out, but they decided it was important that the person in the cabin no. experienced oh. the noise of the engine oh, and they I piped see. engine noise oh. in through the car's stereo. Oh, this isn't Wonderful. exterior. This is oh, interior. Th- that was, yeah. And it was, yeah. it was just to, and it was a button you could push. Oh, yeah. You could elect to have your, your sound system play engine noise. Wow. You sort of think, what the hell? So when you were a little kid and you're oh, in the room with crap. the plane, you go, with the plane yeah, around. No kidding, now you're eh? driving a seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 car pushing yeah. a button, so it'll do it. Like, yeah. what the hell? But it's the same idea, right? And nobody still has come up with the wonderful options that we described with that idea, which was a selector switch. So you're driving your Dodge Caravan, you've dropped the kids at school, and now you want to pretend <laughs> you're in a... Form- <laughs> yeah, you got the big Detroit iron going there with the lumpy cam. <laughs> and then you just switch it to Ferrari and it goes... <laughs> like you're revving a 12. Or, or, you know, a two-stroke engine. <laughs> as you drive up and down the street. I mean, come rap. on. Yeah. It just writes awesome. itself. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. And but again, there it lays my yeah. beautiful ideas. Oh, I think yeah. a third party unit would be great that yeah. you actually yeah. glue onto your dash because well, you know, like, was... it should be kind of tacky, yeah, shouldn't it? super tacky. And then you got the big yeah. switch on it. Yeah. And the whole idea yeah. was Maybe. a lot of cars right now they're uh, they're they're doing it right. Well, but they're electronic, right? They're fly by wire. Yeah, so exactly. when you push the gas pedal, yeah. you're sending an electric message to something that opens a valve someplace. Yeah. So right. all you got to do is read that in your little sound creator thing and, and adjust the sound accordingly. Yeah. Right? When they, when it goes up, you make the big Detroit iron sound like it's going faster. That's yeah. a term we're losing to the gas pedal, right? Yeah. What's yeah. it, what's it called now? Accelerator pedal or what? Sure. What yeah. Whatever. The thing that makes it go. Yeah. Oh, of course. Because go pedal. Even in the hybrid, you know, half the time it's not, the engine's not going. Well, uh-huh. we're, we're starting to lose the term buy with cars. Uh-huh. So now the ads say, get on down to, kia and qualify for your new car yeah. which means get on down to kia and give them a bunch of money and start waiting for it yeah. to arrive right? yes oh yeah because so yeah. they they don't say buy anymore because yeah. nine out of ten you can't buy the stupid yeah. thing you gotta it's order be it. here it's in crazy. two years yeah. Yeah. yeah and i think there's a real hearty discussion to be had about you learn a lot of shit models. on this show don't you God, like you know, <laughs> it just never stops you like, look I, at there's three brilliant people in here and me and it's been a real eye opener. <laughs> yeah, really. Wait till you hear the edited version. That'll really make your oh, eyes. It's going to be mind balling. Hey, oh, where where did I go? Wait, I'm completely out of it, and, and I should be. Well, so. actually, you know, Bob, when we heard you were coming, I suggested that we ask you to please try and explain what it was in your shared childhood, you and RJ, that made him turn out that way. Yeah, <laughs> like you're okay. you're the older brother. You yeah. have some accountability, and I would like for you to speak to that now. Oh well, you it, could have guided and nurtured me. Yeah. Yes, um, <laughs> you could have made him a caring person or something. No. Like everything <laughs> Richard knows, he learned from me, <laughs> and his rapier-like wit. It's all 
stolen and borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, and what you were you were prohibited from beating that theft out of him? Is that- well, he was too dangerous to beat. Oh. He threw uh, steel cars and shit like that. So, oh, you just and- went full nuclear. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, me and Rob, we were pretty close. Me and Rob. Yeah. And sometimes we'd even gang up on Mike somewhere. Yeah. Robert J. and uh, Michael J. used to beat on each other, and we were terrified of Richard J. Yeah. Right? Well, there was the whole thing, you know, like Rob would do something to me, and I'd scream bloody murder. And after the third or fourth of those in a row, Mom would just say, you're just making it up. Yeah. And Rob would hear that, right? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. It's open Green light. season on yeah. Little Richie. <laughs> That's right. Green light. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just poke him with my hunting knife. <laughs> just little pokes. <laughs> little red dots. And so did you learn then to just go nuclear? Oh, uh, he was pre- like Presumably. That. Like, I didn't think in those terms, but mom yeah. felt that I was just being way over oh, no, dramatic. No, these are it. different things. Like, there's over dramatic where you scream yeah. big carry on. Yeah. But once that's been invalidated, oh, and then your brother's start throwing, aware of it. throwing cars. Cause yeah. Rob has yeah. a good memory of throwing cars. Yeah. Man. And that's serious. And I've right? been hit you, by you him. Put so, somebody's you know, eye. Yeah. Like and you, you can tell listeners, you can tell that it actually has impacted them and it continues to. It, it does. And, but there's an even bigger one than that. Yeah. So, you know, I was the, the baby of the family, you know, yes. and mom would make apple pies for oh, us. Oh, little and, pies. And, you know, when apple pies are made, there's always a little oh, bit geez. left over, right? Oh, and she'd make me my own special, special little turnover. Pies. Yeah. No. And it would have my I letter. Think. It would be like R. And it wasn't R for Richie. Robert. Oh. It was R for Richie. Right? Yeah, and Mike. And, and I was yeah. like, I was, I had a sense of entitlement. I'm just going, what? Yeah. what's it's the big unreal. deal here? I just eat yeah. them, right? And it's great. And, and uh, I didn't realize that. Rob, both Rob and Mike were years, years in therapy. Oh, there's, it has, it it doesn't end, (laughs) you know, it just, do you guys have a special word now to tell each other when you're about to just let go? Like Rob's probably pretty close to boiling right now. I'm pretty close to boiling. This this is a painful scab that we're ripping off. I think, (laughs) I think we've heard that story in the shed, but we haven't had you present to see right there. The, the visceral response. I mean, woof. Once mom and dad stopped dressing Rich up in dresses and stuff because they <laughs> did really want a girl. Fights um, back. That's that actually true. That's actually yeah. true, by yeah. the way. What? Uh, um, I was supposed to be a girl. They really yeah. wanted a girl. Yeah. And, and they dressed And my name was going to be Ginger, right? Yeah. yeah. Get out of yeah. town. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and mom even called me Ginger once or twice after yeah. I was born, and yeah. and Gordy's like, "Oh, handle me gingerly." Oh, right? just mean, eh? If yeah. just mean. only we had known this back yeah. in the day. Oh, oh yeah, what but, an awesome! I mean, in England they call redheads ginger all the time, mm-hmm, but exactly in Rossland, and that's probably where yeah. the name came from too. I'll bet. Yeah, because we were, you know, all three of us had, yeah, had red hair. Meet your little sister. How I wish we would have known. (laughs) Hey, Ginger, how's it going? (laughs) Oh, man. So anyway, it's, you know. Lost opportunity. We came out of that somehow. Yeah. We survived our childhood. Holy crap. Yeah, you've got scar tissue in your souls that no other human's been able to penetrate. Well, you know, every family's an interesting one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get the aberrations, the horror, the oh, horror. Just the pie thing alone yes. would make a mark. Because yes. typically, in most families, not like mine, but in most families, mm, the yeah. oldest brother <laughs> wow. is an untrammeled tyrant. Yeah. He is the person who, you know, oh, yeah, you want to cross me? <laughs> and he twists your arm yeah, or you pulls your Well, there was a little bit of that going on here, right? Yeah. Yeah, and in this think? case, yeah. the parents took the side of the baby and just... But me and Rob away. spent many, many hours playing Monopoly, yep. playing records. Yep. We were pretty close. Trading uh, nickels for dimes. Nickels for dimes. <laughs> Rob would give me Rob would give me a nickel. Nickels because but, they're big. And I'd go, oh, okay, yeah, Richie, yep. this, my nickel's bigger than your dime. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, you so, know, Rich, he wised up really quick. He, you passed me when you're five or something like oh. that. You know, like, holy crap. One day, uh, Rob and I were in the hallway somewhere, Jewel Lane there, Rob. Yeah. And you said to me, you know, uh, that whole thing about Santa Claus? <laughs> it's a lie. Don't say it. Don't Ooh. say it. And, and what, you know what I said? Listening. What's a lie? <laughs> What's a lie? I had never heard of a lie before, oh, ever. Wow. So oh, Rob's just like, okay, wow. grow up, kid. So that sounds more like the older brother 
kind of dirt that I was looking for. Not yeah. the wounded, oh, uh, mistreated by his parents stuff, but the... Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> like he takes a drag and a cigarette. He says, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's a lie, kid. Tell your friends. I'm like, oh, man. You ever seen a switchblade? <laughs> Santa Claus, this yeah. is Tell your friends, I'm sick of you little Tell rats saying stuff like Tell that. So there we are. We heard a lot of stuff. And I hope you're going to come back and hear us for our next episode where we'll have more of Rob from Saskatoon. Mm-hmm.